Well, in, in brief, they uh, invited me uh, to participate in one of their sculpture exhibitions two or three years ago. It started a little relationship. So I've shown twice in uh, mixed exhibitions here during the uh, Art in the Park. <coughs> and, uh, and then about eight, nine months ago, uh, Matthias asked if I would be interested in making a show here. We realized that it was possible. I'm very pleased about is that they have some paintings uh, in the gallery upstairs. I am a painter primarily who makes sculpture. The sculptures are informed by the painting, in other words the interest in using colour, but the thing with the sculpture and painting on steel which you can fold uh, is that the colour exists in three dimension and so when you walk around it the colour relationships change and uh, which doesn't happen on a flat painting. The reason for making um, sculptures as opposed to paintings is that it's a totally different formal uh, exercise and so it isn't the subject matter which needs to change, it's the concept. I make prints, big sculptures, small ones, paint and draw and uh, each has its own formal uh, uh, problem. The theme and nothing to do with the art in the park really. The theme is one which is preoccupied me for now uh, years and that's the interaction of the sexes and the uh, typified by the dance and the, uh, the uh, conjoining of uh, two, f two figures, male and female as far as I'm concerned and um, uh, that's been the motif of some time. I'm currently working on paintings in which the sculpture stands, a sculptured figure stands as a part of the painting and what I discovered was that the, you can move by moving the sculpture from one end of the painting to the other you change all the color relationships so it's an amalgamation of my interest in two and three dimensions <laughs> that I miss the most is usually the latest one you think this is it I want to keep this one but uh, it's ha like having children you know then they grow up and they become their own selves It's difficult. I've, I've contemplated leaving the figure out of, out of my paintings, but um, it never happens. <laughs> Especially the female figure. The male figure is always portrayed much more as a cipher. Um, uh, and there is a tradition to that. I mean, if you think of Picasso's paintings of the artist and model, uh, he always depicted himself or the artist as a sort of a lumpen, uh, not misshapen, but a squat, uh, uh, unspecial un figure, which pointed out the beauty of the female figure. So there's a long tradition to that artist and model idea. Uh, and also matters of identity interest me, um, and the thing of painting merged male and female images is also as much about individual identity as it is about um, having a happy marriage.